enough highlighter. <laughs> hey babes, guess who's back? It's me, Mark. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a Farrah Moan makeup tutorial because she's on All Stars and I'm pretty excited about it. I honestly wish that I had like a more similar outfit to hers but this is pretty much the only like holographic like thing that I have in that way and I'm wearing a blonde wig not a white and pink one. But this is what you're gonna get you guys. So guys what I am going to do first is going to be covering up my eyebrows. I haven't done this in so long. And I'm just using a Pritt stick and I'm doing a few layers of that just to get it really, really flat. And I'm going in an upwards motion. What I'm doing right now is drying the glue stick a little bit with some powder. I'm using a little mini blender. And after that, I'm going to be using Morange Lipstick by MAC. I think Farrah uses a Smashbox, like, clay colour. But this is like the orange that I have and I'm even doing under my eyes because that's what Farrah do. And then after that I'm going to be using Farrah's foundation which is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Um, you know, so I'm covering what I used um, where the orange went basically. And it's super cool that um, Farrah actually uses a liquid foundation because I know a lot of drag queens like to use, you know, Krylon TV paint stick. And I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques sponge just to blend that through. And then I'm going to be using my Revolution Pro. This is a, you know, medium to full coverage foundation. So not as full as the Marc Jacobs one. And I'm just going over the rest of the face with that. For concealer, I'm going to be using my two favorites, the Revolution... Um, concealer and the Barry M cookie concealer as well just to make it a little bit lighter in that way but fair is quite tan so I can use my own sort of shades in that way here I am using a little bit of cookie just to lighten some areas in that way and then I'm gonna be going over that with the beauty blender again after that, I'm just going to be resetting my eyebrows and baking underneath the eyes with a sponge. The rest of the face, I'm just going over with a big powder brush and just setting in that way. So you gotta lock that powder in. I'm just using a little bit of a highlight powder from this Revolution Contour Palette. It's kind of like the Anastasia one, you know, the Anastasia Pro Palette. And then I'm going to be using a contour shade, like a bronzy colour and, um, you know, contouring the face, bronzing it up. Because Farrah likes to be super, super bronze, super, super tan. We love a bit of that. You know the usual places, like the cheekbones, the jawline. And Farrah's, like, contours are very much very soft. You know, there's no, like, harsh lines or anything. And I'm just going to be baking the nose as we um, do the rest of the face. Um, yes, we love that. After that, I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter. I'm going to be using, like, a lot. And I know it looks super unblended right now, but I am going to be blending it out. In the final look, you'll see how blended my highlighter is, to be fair. But I just wanted it to be super blinding because it's pheromone. I'm using Sugar Pill Dolly Pop as well as my blush because Farrah is the queen of pink. Using my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I'm going to be using a few. I'm going to be using that blue shade, um, the pink shade, and a couple of the purple shades as well. Now, I'm applying this blue colour. Now, it applied more teal, to be honest, on camera, but I promise it was blue. And um, I'm applying that to the inner crease of the eye. And you want to make sure that it's super, super blended as well. And we're kind of creating, like, a gradient. Um, I'm using the pink right now and going onto the outer crease of the eye and you want to blend that towards the blue as well. After that I'm going to be using the purple just to darken everything up a little bit and blend that towards the pink. You know, um, 
I love doing this look, honestly. And I wished for Farrah to do, obviously, better than she had done in the show. I'm just using white liner for underneath the eye, by the way, and also to cut the crease. But, you know, I'm still so proud of her. I honestly love the looks that she was serving, and I wish that she had a lot more confidence in that way for herself. But, you know... Shit happens, shit happens, you know what I mean? And sometimes you just get into those ruts or whatever. But honestly, I'm so proud of Farrah. And even her lip sync with Valentina, I'm so proud of that. I'm using this Barry M glitter. Oh my gosh, it's freaking beautiful. Look at that. It sparkles, it shines, just like Pheromone. And I'm using my Revolution Pro just to do the winged liner. I know that Farrah struggles with this part. I love doing my winged liner, honestly. But yeah, you know, I really like the runway looks that um, Farrah did get to show. And she is actually posting the looks that she would have worn in each episode on Instagram. And I'm living for the looks that she would have served. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I'm just using a little bit of the pink and the purple underneath the lower lash line. And what I'm going to do now is just apply my mascara to blend the lashes that we're going to put on top. You know... Farrah kind of set a trend with the highlight and also the rhinestones and stuff. So I'm applying those rhinestones underneath the eye. And in between those, I'm applying three bottom lashes. They're like cluster lashes. I'm using a medium brown um, Anastasia dip brow to draw on the eyebrows. I could have gone a little bit lighter to be fair, but I didn't know it was going to go quite this dark. And Farrah definitely does the little hairs as well on the corner. After that, I'm just using a little bit of concealer just to clean it up. You know, we want that sharp brow. And then I'm going to set that with the Sugar Pill White Eyeshadow. We are applying some lashes. I think I'm applying like silk lashes to my eyes. And of course, I am topping the highlight up because I want to be shining, 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 shining. I'm applying that onto the nose bridge as well, the cupid's bow, the chin, and Farah actually also does in between above the eyebrows, but I didn't do that, I forgot. I'm just lining with a peachy, orangey-ish um, lip liner, and Farah kind of has like a peachy pinky lip on, on the promo shot, so I'm going to be applying a peachy pink liquid lipstick. This one is from Karl Lagerfeld, which Sabrina actually gave me. So thank you so much, Sabrina. Um, over the top of that, you know, Farrah likes a gloss as well. So I'm applying this Barry M lip gloss over the top to be super glossy and super shiny. So this is the final Farrah Moan look. I mean, it's not super accurate in that way in terms of like hair and maybe the what I'm wearing, but... I hope that you still enjoyed it. I'm obviously working with what I've got. So that's it you guys. I hope that you I hope that you guys love the video. Honestly, um I want views. So if you can help a boy out, then that would be great. So yeah. Love you.